Right, there's no way it's going to do that. That is 75. Oh, 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 oh. What's well, so up guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're taking a mini crawler and we're putting some mini saw blades on it. Do not try this at home. So that was your disclaimer guys, definitely don't try this at home. Well, you're, you're welcome to try it at home, but um, these are pretty sharp. And even though these little crawlers, the RPM on the wheels isn't that much, it is enough to catch yourself with it. I did cut myself earlier, not too bad, but they are very sharp. There's a few videos out of uh, saw blades on like one eighth scale, completely insane 60, 70 mile an hour um, buggies and stuff. So I've gone for the safer option. We're going to see if a little mini crawler um, will have any advantage of having saw blades on it. Now, I was going to use the Hobby Plus, the CR18. Really good, cheap um, little mini crawler there. Tires on this are probably one of the best out there out of all of them. These nice soft tyres, really good. However, it's a bit light and it hasn't really got the torque um, for these blades. I've not tried it with them, but this extra weight on the wheels, I wanted something a little bit more torquey. But along with extra torque, I wanted some extra wheel speed. This thing's got three settings. This is the Panda Hobby uh, Tetra K1, I think it's the K1 model. It's got three speeds, low, medium, high, and in high speed, the RPM on the wheels is quite good. It's about the same as the Hobby Plus over there. Um, it's heavier and there's more torque. So I thought this was the ideal candidate to have these little mini saw blades. They're not contact RC. Um, I just had some stickers spare and I thought they looked quite good on there because the, the blades were just plain. So I thought with the little stickers, they actually look quite good. But they're not in any way um, affiliated with contact RC. These guys do some really good foam um wheels and tyres if you're looking for something for road use. Anyway, little micro saw blades. Would you believe I got them from Banggood if I told you? Because I did, and there's a link in the description. Now, I searched quite a few places for these, and Amazon, eBay, and stuff like that, and although I could find the right diameter of them, and because they're only sold in singles, it works out quite expensive, whereas on Banggood, these are really cheap. So I got four of them. They arrived the other day, and they're, yeah, they're just stuck on. This is an RGT or a Hobby Plus uh, CR24 wheel and tyre. They're literally just super glued on. I had to rub the black paint off the um, disc to get it to stick. Bit of super glue, left a load of weight on top of them overnight, and they're stuck on there solid. So, so I've set a little course up outside. I'm gonna take the uh, Panda Hobby. This is completely stuck. Uh, gonna take this. Just gonna give you a quick control run and show you that this thing, um, with these tyres, it's wet out there, which is good. I, I wanted it to be raining because it makes it even harder. Uh, and I've put some uh, not very good surfaces for it to climb. So let's have a look at how this got on with just the normal tyres. So you can see with the normal tyres on this uh, very slippery surface with that rain and wood's not very grippy anyway um, at the best of time. So not a chance at all. And using the wheel speed still uh, no chance that I have. Had to help it pretty much all the way up um, due to zero traction. Um, this thing's all right, it's really good crawler this actually. And I did mention, I think in the review video that the tires are probably could do a bit, a bit softer. I still don't think even softer tires in this would help. And on the rubber grip there on the tire still didn't make it. Um, couldn't quite get the grip to jump up on this wood. I did. Um, it did get up there, but I had to place it on or I pushed it with my foot. And then again on this slippery surface, just no chance at all. Uh, this is a really awkward bit and I've done it purposely like this because the grip, you'll see the grip on the blaze is completely insane when we look at that run, but normal tires, not really got the ground clearance, um, no chance at all. So blades fitted, I think it looks really quite cool uh, with the saw blades on this. I mean, it's a power wagon. It could be like a wood truck, couldn't it? And it's got its own uh, 
blades on the wheels to cut trees down and I'll show you I'm gonna do a demo now actually before we look at the run video I've got a I've got a tree this is a 1 18th scale tree trunk and I'll show you that these actually do cut right I gotta be careful here <laughs> right There you go. So you can see why you have to be careful with these because they can do quite a bit of damage. Um, I wouldn't expect anyone to hold them on themselves doing that, but you never know, whatever tickles your fancy. I didn't do a bad job of gluing them on as well. They're pretty straight. Anyway, let's go and see how this got on, on that course with the saw blades. So instantly, look at that grip straight up there and that's quite a steep climb as well that is not easy no problem at all struggled a bit on this bit mostly it was slipping off the tire than anything but uh put it back on and it wasn't an issue but it was struggling with uh, going in a straight line straight over the tire straight down there no issues now this bit it was slightly difficult to get over needed a bit of uh interesting throttle control more to jump it over than anything and that was more to do with the ground clearance but so much grip on the rubber and um, with them blades it's unreal that white air uh, that white bit of wood there is way too slippery for anything i put it there just to help the truck over the top of there more than anything but as you can see once it's on there and straight and level it still crawls all right. It's still got a decent amount of flex in it. And just overall, it's just good fun. Um, bit weird. I wouldn't recommend anyone take saw blades to their local crawler course. You might get kicked off. Um, but as you can see, this thing is loads of fun. Jumped up there, crawled up there, no issues at all. Straight over the tire, plenty of grip. And then down, pretty controllable. Right, one last test before we finish the video. I'm gonna put my climbing board up there with a the carpet on it and see what um, angle we can get. Let's just have a look at the review and remind ourselves how steep this thing could climb. I think it was about 53 degrees, but let's have a look at that now. Fifty-three, it done. Fifty-three degrees. I am impressed. Right, let's take it out and take it over. So I've just put it straight to sixty because this has got loads more grip. I can tell you straight away. What I will show you though is the issue of having the rear ones on. Too much grip on the rear is just flipping it over. I'll show you that. So that's because you've got the twist on. The, as soon as that grips there, it's just turning the truck. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the rear blades off. Leave the front ones on and just put the normal tyres on the back. Right, rear tyres changed, so just the front blades. I've put this little uh, box here because we've got a bit of a problem with the angle with the bumper. But here it is at 60 degrees with just the front blades on. <laughs> Look how quick that goes up there. Right, that can go loads more. Let's go 65. That is 66 degrees. Look how steep that is. 66 degrees. <laughs> 66. I can't believe how fast it goes up there. It's like a little spider. Right, 70. I don't know if I can get to 70. <laughs> wow, 70 degrees. I don't know how you see how steep that is. Look at that. <laughs> Too fast. Do you see how fast that went up the first time? Oh my days. I think we're going higher if I can get this. I don't know if this goes higher. I don't know if I can get the angle more than 70. <laughs> right, there's no way it's gonna do that. That is 75. No. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh. It's just clinging on. Oh, I've got to be careful this doesn't fly back and hit me. Oh, it's nearly done it. That is 75 degrees. <laughs> okay. Right, let's stop that now because I'm going to hurt myself. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I think I'm going to rename this rather than a panda. I think it's a spider monkey the way it climbs up there. This thing is really cool. Remember, don't do this at home, um, or if you do it, be really careful. You could easily hurt yourself. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Cheers for watching. I will see you next time.